A quick and easy way to make your notes more appealing is to insert some graphics, some visual elements into your notes. And for most of us who use PowerPoint, this is a basic step, but I'll go over it again quickly. In the text box, you'll notice there are some little prompts directly in the middle. Click the first icon on the second row, and this automatically opens up access to any resources that are on your laptop. Navigate to have an appropriate graphic and click on insert. The box disappears, but is replaced by the graphical image. I'm going to reverse a little bit. I'm going to push Control Z to go back to where we were. And now consider a second, probably more interesting way to add graphics to your notes. If you look at the second icon in the second row, this one says insert online graphics. This window appears and it already gives you access to Microsoft's free image library. And you can choose a category. I'll look at money, for example. And it'll then provide you with any options that it has in terms of money. Now, most of this money looks American, but let's just go with one of these items. We will choose this one. Uh, notice, however, that in the top left-hand corner there is a filter mechanism and you can now say that you're only interested in Creative Commons or open licensed materials. Uh, this is a good way to escape any fuss or problems related to copyright issues. So I normally make sure that that tick is in place and then click Insert. And voila, we have now got the image embedded in our notes. The challenge with the PowerPoint library is that it is all very stock looking. Um, and we might be needing something more specific. Say, for example, you're an economist, then you might need a chart which is just not covered by the library. So the easiest way to find more specific images is to use images.google.com, which is Google's image search. Navigate to images.google.com and then type in what you're looking for. So say, for example, we're looking for a supply and demand chart. There we go, supply and demand curve would work. And we've now got the power of Google search engine looking for specific images. Um, the problem, though, with the results that you get originally is that this includes everything that Google can find, and some of it could be copyrighted. So there is a filter to help us find materials that we can uh, reuse without asking for permission. Click on Tools, and under Usage Rights, you have some options which are pointing specifically at open licensed materials. So I'm going to say labeled for use with modification. This is nice and broad. It gives me a lot of options of what I can do. And now I can see what's available. And the one that I'm looking for is more to do with a very simple or classic supply and demand. So I'm going to go for this item here um, and I can right click this image and go save picture as. I will save it to my laptop and, th and then return to my PowerPoint. All right, so now I want to uh, insert a graphic. There is no text box to use this time, so I must do it the, uh, using the menu. So go insert. A picture from this device. I'm interested in this image here. Select it and say insert. And now I have it in my notes.